Are you lovelies? Are you? How are you? Are you all right? Are you all right? It's Betty here with another episode of Betty's Kitchen and Garden. What we're doing today is I've got some friends with me in the kitchen. I have some of Betty's friends and we're going to show you how to make one of our favourites. All right, I think you're going to enjoy it. Are you ready? Oh, we'll get going then. Right, here we go with a, res a lovely recipe from one of Betty's friends. All right, see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Right, are you ready? I'm going to introduce you. Here we go. Right, tell us who you are. I'm Jess Chapman of Home Region College. Oh, brilliant. And what are we making today, Jess? Today we're making apple crumble. Oh, what do you need for that then? 450 grams of apples. Oh, does it matter what sort of apples they are, Jess? Uh, is it all right just to use any apples really yeah yeah brilliant that's lovely they're lovely they are what next uh, 225 of brown sugar brown sugar very nice do you like brown sugar no oh <laughs> never mind it's all right some people do i do i love brown sugar what's in there then 300 grams of plain flour plain flour right got to get that right what else have we got one pinch of salt pinch of salt lovely there what else have we got? One pinch of cinnamon. Pinch of cinnamon. Mmm, what's that for? Why do you put the cinnamon in, Jess? Because it's for the apple crumble in a in oh. cake. Oh, yeah. But, and cakes. You use it in cakes as well, yeah. do you? Oh, lovely taste. Goes nicely with <laughs> apple, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, lovely. Anything else? 200 grams of unsalted butter. Unsalted butter, right. Okay, brilliant. Right, that's great, Jess. We're going to go on to what we do with it all, aren't we, next? Yeah. Brilliant. See you in a minute. <laughs> oh, so we've got those ingredients ready. Here we go with what we're doing with them. Oh, who's this? Hi, my name's Kirsty. I'm from Regent College. Lovely, Kirsty. What have you got here then? What are we going to do? We're going to cut these apples and cut the core off it and then put it in the bowl. Oh, do you want to show us how to do that then, Kirsty? Yeah. Kirst, in case we're not uh, sure. There we are. Oh, very good. Sometimes, Kirsty, what I find easy is if you put the flat bit onto the, that's it, on the board, then it's really solid, isn't it? That's it, really good. That's brilliant. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you don't take the peel off your apples, I can see there. Yeah. It doesn't matter, does it, if you leave no. the peel on? No. No. I think it's quite good for you, the peel, really, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's very neat. You've done that really well. That's brilliant. To chop them into smaller bits, are you? Very good. Lovely. And you do it like that then, Kirsty, and then if you've got any bits you don't want, so any of those bits of core, you're going to yeah. chop them out, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, that's very clever. I like this. Mm. Very good. Great, that's brilliant, Kirsty. I'm going to pause it there, because so we're going to get on with the next bit of the preparation. Hiya, Jess, what are we going to do now? And I'm going to cut the butter in into cubes. Cut the butter into cubes. Do you want to show us how to do it? Here we go. Mm. Lovely. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Did you use this butter straight out of the fridge? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite hard, isn't it? Oh. You have to be strong. Mm. Now, I suppose some people don't like eating butter, do they, Jess? No. So, are there other things they could use instead? Um, a spoon. A spoon. They could use a spoon, couldn't they, if they didn't want to use a knife with the butter. And I suppose if they didn't like but to eat butter, they could use like a margarine that was just like made of plants or something, couldn't they? Yeah. 
so they didn't have to have butter, but something like that. So do you enjoy cooking, Jess? I love cooking. You love, what's your favorite thing to cook? Gam and egg and chips. Gam and egg and chips, woo -hoo! Mm. That sounds delicious. Sounds like it's someone else's favorite as well. Whee! Nice. Gam and egg and chips, fabulous. Mm. Do you like doing cakes and puddings as well? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite pudding? Apple crumb. Apple crumb. Is that why we're doing it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mm. Jessie's fave. Mm. Very good. Are we going to put those bits into the mix now? So what's in this bowl here? Uh, pine flour. Yes. And brown sugar. Plain flour and brown sugar. And you're going to add them in now. Yeah. That butter. Very good. Lovely. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, very good. Lovely. Well done. Then I have to stir it well. Now you have to stir it, okay? Very good. And what are you thinking about when you're stirring it? What are you, what are you trying to do with your stirring? Yeah, make it soft and creamy. Make it soft and creamy. Ooh. And then I had to crumble it up. Crumble it up, right. Can you show us how you crumble it up, do you think, Jess? Oh, I see. Oh, you rub it like that. Oh, you're sort of <laughs> blitzing those little bits <laughs> of butter, aren't you? Squishing them together. Oh, that's really interesting. So it's, oh, is that why it's called apple crumble? Oh, no. oh, oh I see. So nothing gets past Betty. Oh, no. There we go. Yeah, nice crumbling. Right, back to you now, Kirsty. What are we doing now? Uh, we're going to put the apples in here, then the sugar. And then the cinnamon. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really good. And can I just see, you've chopped them apples up really well, haven't you? Look at that. What have you taken out of there? Uh, the pips. And yeah. Stuff, so. All right. Yeah, so we don't, yeah. Need, we don't need them, do we? No. no. Right. Okay, off you go then. Apples in the bowl. Lovely. Looks a load of lovely apples. Yummy. I love an apple. Right. Then what? And then the brown sugar. Brown sugar. Lovely. In we go. And then the cinnamon. Oh, yes, lovely. Do you like cinnamon? Mm, no. Not really? Oh, mm. never mind. And I'll eat it, it though, don't bowl. worry. You mix it in the bowl. Yeah, lovely. I love cinnamon. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. Mix it all right. Yeah, so the brown sugar's all over the apples. And you're breaking it up a bit there, aren't you? Because yeah. it does, it can get a bit lumpy, can't it, brown yeah. sugar? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, very good. What's your favourite thing to cook, Kirsty? Um, um. I've put you on the spot now, haven't I? Uh, curry. Curry. Oh, yeah. very nice. A bit different from apple crumble, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right, what are we doing with it now? Because it looks like it's all stuck to those apples, doesn't yeah. it? Ooh. So we put it in the bowl. I've got a dish here, haven't dish. we? Completely. All right. Oh, very good. So what's important here then? Do we have to make sure it's all spread out? Yeah. Yeah, very good. And what are we going to do with this dish after? Um, after we put the crumble on. Yes. And then we can put it in the oven. All oh, right, okay. So better, yes. So, so, so we know this dish is all right in the oven, don't we? We've checked yeah. that. Yeah, good. Oh, well, somebody has. Mm. Was it wasn't me? Was it you? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's all right then. You know that's all right. Oh, that looks great. Right. Let's see if that crumbles ready. Right. What are we going to do now, Jess? Just put the oats in the bowl. Oh, oats. Oh, she hadn't mentioned them. What do What do the oats give us, Jess? Crunching. Crunching. Lovely. Off you go then. Great. Brilliant. We just sprinkle some in. Absolutely lovely. Oh, that's great. What are you doing now? Stir it in. I can see that's beautifully rubbed in that uh, where you've rubbed that fat in before. That's lovely, isn't it? It's like sand or something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, I like that with them oats. Oh, that looks very tasty. 
Beautiful. So you've mixed them all through. Very nice. What are we going to do now? Um, put these in the fruit. On the fruit, right, okay. Here you go then. This is where we had the fruit before. Very nice. In the bowl. And you're just going to tip it on. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Oh, delicious. I'm going to have to smooth it all down. Okay, smooth it all down. Beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. That's great. Oh, look at that, everybody. Mm. Oh, doesn't it look tasty? Mm. Mm. Very nice. Right, and what do we do when we smooth it all down then, Jess? I pop it in the oven. Pop it in the oven. Right, okay. Are you going to show us how to do that as well? Go for it then. I'm following you. Mm. Woohoo! Super. That's it. Very nice. Oh, well done. And do you know how long we leave it in there for, Jess? Uh, four minutes. Four, about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Brilliant. And then we'll have a lovely apple crumble, won't we? Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. Right, Kirsty, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Oh, delicious. Doesn't that look tasty? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, Jessie's here as well. Hiya. Right, who's going to serve it out then? You're going to do it, Kirsty, right? There we go. Oh, let's have a nice close up on this. Oh, go off you go. Yes, go for it. I'll move that bowl a bit here. That's it, yeah. Scoop it, nice bit of chunk of. That's it, lovely apple. Oh, look at that delicious apple crumble. Oh, tasty, tasty. Oh, lovely. And there's lovely apples under there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so what do we serve this with then, Jess? Custard. Custard. Have you made some already? Yeah. Oh, go on then. Are you going to put the custard on? Oh, terrific. Oh, oh. Look at that, it's delish. Very nice. Okay, is everyone, anyone going to taste it then? Who's going to be brave enough to have a taste? Oh, go on then, Jess, what do you think? Tell us what you think. Oh, it's hot. Oh, careful. How's it taste? <laughs> Right, well, that's it then from this episode of Betty's Kitchen and Garden. Say cheerio then, Kirsty and Jess. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. Thanks very much. That's a delicious apple crumble and I'm getting stuck in now. Ooh -hoo -hoo.